depths of time, a world concealed from our understanding emerged. Imagine a place where dragonflies ruled the skies, their wings spanning like hawks. This was the Carboniferous period, an era shrouded in enigma. But the question remains, how did these tiny insects grow to such colossal proportions, and why did they vanish into obscurity? Join us on a journey into a world teeming with ancient secrets, a realm of giant insects, and bewildering evolution. Uncover the mysteries of a forgotten time. Over three 300 million years ago, a time long before gigantic dinosaurs ruled the Earth, our planet was inhabited by some truly astonishing creatures. This was a period of Earth's history like no other. During this time, picture a world where dragonflies were as massive as crows and millipedes grew to lengths similar to cars. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. The Carboniferous period was a remarkable chapter in Earth's story. It marked the beginning of the supercontinent Pangaea forming, with vast swamps and warm, humid forests covering the landscape. In these lush environments, not only did colossal insects thrive, but a diverse range of creatures also roamed the planet, including early sharks and giant amphibians up to six feet long. Imagine journeying back 300 million years to this age. What would strike you first are the colossal insect-like beings. One step out was the Meganeura, resembling a dragonfly with a wingspan of up to 75 centimeters. What makes this even more fascinating is that it was a carnivorous predator, hunting other insects and even small amphibians. On land, you'd encounter the Arthropleura, a creature resembling a millipede that could grow to an astounding length of 2.5 meters, 8 feet. Thankfully, it had no interest in you, as its preferred diet consisted of decomposing plant matter. The immense size of these creatures was partly due to the oxygen levels during this period. Research suggests that atmospheric oxygen levels were as high as 35% compared to the 21% we breathe today. Oxygen played a vital role in the gigantism of insects during the Carboniferous period. Insects breathe differently from other animals as they lack a circulatory system. Oxygen is transported directly to their tissue through tiny tubes called trachea. The abundance of oxygen in the atmosphere allowed these insects to grow exceptionally large. Moreover, one intriguing theory suggests that these insects grew to such enormous sizes as an adaptation to prevent oxygen toxicity. While oxygen is essential, excessive amounts can lead to the production of unstable molecules called free radicals, which can harm cells and DNA. These colossal insects, by growing larger, reduced the rate of oxygen absorption and mitigated the risk of oxygen overload. However, as time progressed within the Carboniferous period, you would witness a significant change in the Earth's climate. The lush, warm, and humid humid conditions of the early Carboniferous period transitioned into an ice house earth state. Temperatures dropped and ice sheets began forming, primarily in the southern hemisphere. This climatic transformation was closely linked to the gradual formation of the supercontinent Pangaea, which impacted ocean currents, wind patterns, and the global climate. With the decline of rainforests and the subsequent reduction in fauna and vegetation, oxygen levels decreased. This led to the decline and eventual extinction of giant insects. Smaller insects, better adapted to the lower oxygen levels and drier climate, thrived in this changing environment. Additionally, early reptiles began to dominate the landscape, posing new challenges for these colossal insects. The story of Earth's past, particularly the Carboniferous period, is a reminder of the significance of understanding and preserving our planet's ecosystems. Our ecosystems are constantly evolving and require our care and attention to ensure a sustainable future for all living beings. Protecting these ecosystems and comprehending the delicate balance of life on Earth is crucial for our survival and the well-being of all the planet's inhabitants. During the Carboniferous period, life on Earth was in a state of constant change and adaptation. Not only did the planet host these colossal insects, but it was also an era known as the Coal Age. The extensive coal beds that formed from decaying ancient forests during this period have had a profound impact on our world. Coal deposits remain one of our primary sources of energy, powering our industries and homes. Additionally, many of the fruits and vegetables we find in our grocery stores today can trace their ancestry back to plants 
from over 300 million years ago. This illustrates how the Carboniferous period was a time of significant botanical evolution, leading to the emergence of the first seed-bearing plants, which enriched Earth's ecosystems with unprecedented diversity. As you explore this prehistoric world, you might encounter creatures that initially resemble dinosaurs but are, in fact, some of the first reptiles to appear on Earth. However, if you were to journey forward a few million years, you'd find yourself in the Mesozoic era, known as the Age of Dinosaurs. This would usher in a new chapter in Earth's history, dominated by the colossal reptiles that continue to capture our imaginations to this day. The atmosphere itself underwent a remarkable transformation throughout the Carboniferous period. It began as a lush, greenhouse-like environment with warm and humid temperatures, ideal for the thriving, swampy forests. However, over millions of years, the climate transitioned to what scientists refer to as an ice house earth state. The temperature dropped significantly and ice sheets started to form mainly in the Southern Hemisphere. The underlying cause of this dramatic shift can be attributed to the formation of Pangaea, the supercontinent. When such vast land masses move and shift, they can dramatically affect ocean currents, wind patterns, and global climate, leading to substantial changes in Earth's environmental conditions. In conclusion, the Carboniferous period stands as a testament to the ever-changing dynamics of our planet's ecosystems and climate. It was a time of remarkable biodiversity, where colossal insects took center stage. These creatures, having evolved to massive proportions due to high oxygen levels and intriguingly as a defense against oxygen toxicity, eventually succumbed to the changing environment. The decline of the rainforests, the reduction of oxygen levels, and the emergence of early reptiles marked the end of this extraordinary era. Understanding the Earth's past, like the Carboniferous period, is not only a fascinating journey through time, but also a vital lesson in the fragility of ecosystems and the profound impact of environmental changes. This historical perspective emphasizes the importance of ecological conservation in our modern world. By recognizing the intricate relationships within ecosystems and the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth, we can strive to protect and preserve the natural world for future generations. Our planet's history is an invaluable teacher, offering insights into the consequences of environmental transformations and highlighting the urgent need for responsible stewardship of our global ecosystems. So let's take inspiration from the past and work toward a future where the rich tapestry of life on Earth continues to flourish and thrive.